Keeping a list of things that you would like to do someday, maybe, can be a really powerful way to make sure that you are holding onto your dreams subconsciously. Some of us have a lot of dreams though, and trying to review the list of all of our dreams every single week during a weekly review can turn into a nightmare. In this video, I'll talk about how I'm using Todoist and Obsidian to keep my someday maybe list from becoming overwhelming. Hey y'all, Organizing Hire, welcome or welcome back. I share organization and productivity tips, tools, and resources. Be sure to subscribe if you're into that. Also, if I say anything that resonates with you, hit that thumbs up button on the video. That really helps support my channel. I keep a someday maybe list in Todoist, which is my task manager of choice. I have a project called Someday Maybe, and I separate items in the project into sections like to buy, to research or to ponder, and I separate my work stuff from my personal stuff from my business stuff. I could easily add a section here in Todoist that has like movies to watch or books to read, but I actually don't keep that stuff in Todoist, and I'll talk about why a little bit later in the video. If I'm working on a project and I have to put it on hold for some reason, like it's been delayed for one reason or another, I will take that project and drag it from my active projects in Todoist and I'll move it to, as a sub project under my someday maybe list. I like doing this as opposed to leaving it in my active projects because if it's in my active projects, then every single week I'm gonna review it and realize like, oh yeah, I'm waiting on that thing for it. Whereas if it's under my someday maybe, I will just know once, once I get word that that project's ready to be brought forward again, that I can just bring it forward from my someday maybe projects. I also like doing this because I can retain any kind of notes or comments that I was working on when the project was active and I don't have to like start all over. So if I was waiting on something specific, then I can kind of remember like, wait, what was that thing? What were we even talking about? I can have old agendas and things like that in there. So I don't have to start from scratch just because the project was on hold. I've recently created a separate someday maybe list separate from the one I keep in Todoist and I'm keeping it in Obsidian. I recently came across a Obsidian and it seems like a really cool note-taking alternative to OneNote, which I've been using for a couple of years but haven't really been in love with. So when to do this, I keep someday maybe stuff that is likely to come up soon. So it's not active, but it's kind of like on deck. And in the next six months, it's very likely that that thing will become active or I'll be able to actually do that thing. I keep a lot of like piddly things like look up this random topic on the internet or buy this thing if you have some extra money at some point soon. I keep that stuff in Todoist because it is likely that I will have money every single month because I'm gratefully still employed. And so when I have extra money, then I'll just be reminded, oh yeah, I wanna get a nine by 13 pan so I can start making sheet cakes. This is compared to like a deeper someday maybe list and that's the one I keep at Obsidian. This is stuff that I, I'm honestly not likely to do for a couple of years, if ever. The stuff on this list, this someday maybe list, that one lives in Obsidian. So this is where I keep like movies that I wanna watch or books that I wanna read. One of the benefits of keeping it here is sometimes I'll have notes from some other article and it will mention books and I'll have notes from that article in Obsidian and it's really easy for me to link those books that that article mentioned and add them to my list of books to read and it's all just in one ecosystem. I don't know about you, but I used to keep a list of like movies to watch in my Someday Maybe list and I would just literally skip over it when I would get to my weekly review. I was starting to go numb to that stuff. And so in my mind, if if I'm going numb to it, then that probably means I don't need to see it every single week. So I just took it out of Todoist. This stuff on my Obsidian list, I'll review maybe monthly or quarterly or annually. I haven't quite decided yet. I think what I'm gonna do is um, kind of make different lists, like someday maybe monthly, someday maybe quarterly, someday maybe annually. So that way I, I get a sense of kind of when I wanna review everything. I don't need to review every single thing, you know, every month. I don't need a, a monthly reminder that I haven't made it to Maui or a monthly reminder that I haven't watched a particular movie or something like that. But, you know, maybe once a year, I'm able to look at this list or these lists and it can it give me a sense of like reflection, particularly at the end of the year, because if different areas of responsibility have changed, maybe certain things are no longer relevant to my life or my interests. So I can just delete them. And speaking of deleting, it seems extreme, but sometimes the best way to keep your someday maybe list from becoming overwhelming is to just declare bankruptcy. Just start all over, delete 
everything off of your someday maybe list and start a new one today. This might sound extreme, but it will give you that immediate sense of relief. And frankly, you likely haven't lost anything because the things on your someday maybe list are things that you weren't really committed to doing anyways. And if you were committed to doing them, they will come up again. So just start over, start from scratch, write your someday maybe list, maybe organize it into different sections this time around, and that might help to keep things uh, a bit less overwhelming. I think it's also great to just regularly do a, a relentlessly honest check on some of the stuff on the someday maybe list. Like, are you really going to do that? Average life expectancy is what, like 86 or something? I don't even know, I'm sure that's wrong. But you, you can only do so much in, in that time that you have on earth. So some of the stuff inevitably, whether you delete it by choice or you just don't get to it, some of that stuff is just not gonna happen. So those are my tips for managing an overwhelming someday maybe list. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great week.